The Cuyo Archipelago is a group of small islands located in the middle of the Sulu Sea between Palawan and Panay. Its administrative and commercial center is the municipality of Cuyo on the western half of Cuyo Island. From the sea, Cuyo Island's first visible landmark is a lighthouse by the pier. Established in 1622, Cuyo Town is the oldest colonial settlement in Palawan Province, as evidenced by the beautiful stone fortress church and heritage houses. Pamalikan Island, where the exclusive luxury resort of Amanpulu is located, is the northernmost island belonging to the municipality. The Cuyunons are considered an elite class and are said to be religious, disciplined, and very community-oriented. Surrounded by this beauty and history, it is not surprising that Cuyunon artist Francis Mary Mendoza learned to love painting and drawing at an early age. Frances, who comes from a family of artists, graduated from a fine arts course at the University of Santo Tomas. She is also a tattooist and member of the Monongol Art Group and the Collective Artists for the Environment or CAFE. Frances' stark images are honest illustration of her observations reflected from her macrocosm. Her works are catharsis of a single mother and her young discerning vision is filled with commentaries insights and nuances on life's temperament. Her brand of realism explores themes of acculturation, commodification, and the environment. It is influenced from an archaically urbanized art sensibility intermixed with their local perspective. By living life as a palawenyo, diba normal lang na papasok sa'yo yung subject, yung nararamdaman mo. Kung ano yung nasa paligid mo, ina-absorb mo lang, tapos normal lang na nagpo-flow yung mga inspiration. Yung artworks ko, nag-reflect lang yung emotions ko. So, para siya lang diary ko. Parang kinoconnect ko lang siya sa nararamdaman ko, sa emotions ko. Yung choice of subjects and colors. Bilang palawenyo na artist, sobrang laking ad epekto ng kapaligiran natin. Iba yung energy. The works of Francis, who documents the island's indigenous tribes and self-designs her own tattoos, are often 3D, blending toys and found trinkets with acrylic and oil portraiture. This is, she says, what makes the works of Palawenyo artists different and special. We will meet another artist with indigenous roots when my city, my SMI art returns.